Let's look at uh, drawing lines now, uh, how we can draw a curved line so that it looks quite nice. In the earlier video, I showed you just clicking a series of points and that was okay. We, we managed to draw a line, but we might want to do a slightly better job than that. So uh, what we'll try and do is we will draw a line that represents this road here and then the one beneath it. It's the same road, different carriageways of the same road, um, but we have our uh, our layer active, the one that's going to receive the data, the transport networks, it's ready for editing. Um, so we can start to add a line feature. Um, I'm going to show a couple of ways of doing this. We have this line feature and that's just going to draw simply straight lines, um, as we saw before. There are some other tools here as well. We have a tool here called um, Add a Circular String. This is a curve rather than a circle. I mean, that we can draw circles if we want, but this is actually just drawing a, a, a curve, but it is a, a simple curve. Um, it doesn't have plot weights or anything like that. So there's no sort of gradient uh, gradually going into a steeper curve. It's just the one curve. So it's a little limited. Uh, it's not ideal, but we'll, we'll work with it um, because it's what we've got. Uh, but let's just start, you know, we'll look at how we could do this. Let's, maybe we can start with this one. Uh, because we're drawing a curved line and it feels like that should be the best thing. Um, the thing is, we, we can actually draw a reasonably straight line with this, uh, which is just a, a very, very large circle that we're drawing, so to speak. Um, so we could say, we start mapping this carriageway here, click a point there, and we click another point there, and we click a, you can see this starts to bend. If I, maybe it doesn't come through on the video, it starts to bend. So we keep that short and we can, can come round and we can sort of, if we're careful with how we do this, we can create, whew, you see it does veer off at times. We can get this straight line. We right click and we'll say this is dual carriageway. We'll click on okay. And we've got this line, it's sort of, it's, yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. Another way, perhaps a better way will be to say, click here, we'll draw a straight line. Where do we have straight line? Well, we, we have a straight line from there, click, and then we'll end that sort of about there. And then that's a dual carriageway. Let's just bring that up there. Yeah, we'll click on okay there. And then there's a curve there. We'll hop over that and go straight to this straight section of road. Click there, we'll pull that down to there. You can carry on if you want. Um, click on OK, so that's done. So now we need to join them up. Now we can go back to this, this curve tool. We click on there. We have snapping on, as you can see, our snapping is on up there. We snap onto the end there, pull out a bit, and then just a little bit, come out there, and then bend down and snap onto the end of the road there. Click on OK. And we're done. Yeah, it's... Okay, we get similar problems, but we can work with this geometry. We, we can now sort of play with these features. This filling up like this, I mean, if we're not happy with that, we can just mark it and delete it and try again. We can click there and we can try that. And or maybe what happens if we extend that out really far before we start, take the second point? Maybe that will work better. Click there. Click on OK. It's a little better. Um, you can just keep trying again until we get it right. Press delete. We can go back to that tool. How about if we go the other way? Let's start from there and click up to there and go to there. And then OK. Yeah, OK. Let's say we're happy with that. But unfortunately, what we have now, instead of one line, we've got one bit there, another bit there, another bit there. So what we can do, if we take the shift button, mark all three, so we use the select tool, that select tool up there, we've marked all three using shift. Uh, and then we look here and we have merge selected features. So we click on merge selected features, it's that tool there, looks like a mosquito kind of thing. Click on that um, and then click on okay. And now when we use that select tool, we see that's just one feature. 
Now this curve has been converted into a whole lot of points. Uh, sort of instead of just being one descriptive curve uh, with a particular geometry, it's now been replaced by a mass of small points along that line, which means we can actually start editing these points a little more clearly um, and adjust the geometry of our line a little bit so that it looks more pleasing if we would like to. So that's creating uh, curved lines in, in different ways. Um, nothing's ideal. It's always a, a job to do, um, but we can try to get to, to do the best we can.